Hi guys, I'm Putsi. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my biggest book haul. So as you can see by the title, this is going to be a massive book haul, at least for me personally. This is my biggest book haul ever. These are all the books and I have counted all of them and I have 52 books, which is crazy, but I can't explain why. First of all, this is a collective haul. These are all the books that I bought in a span of like six to seven months or something like that. I know, that's a long time. Mainly because a lot of the books that I plan to include in this book haul arrived very very late. I bought a lot of them from Book Depository and it took them like almost six months. Some of them maybe even more to arrive here to my house and it's not really Book Depository's fault and I'm going to tell you more about that when we get to the books. So while I was waiting for all those books to arrive, I actually ended up buying more books which is why I have so many books and it took me a while to have the will to film this video. I'm so sorry if I have talked about some of these books in my past wrap up videos or something like that. Some of them I have read in late 2021. I was supposed to film this like last month or something like that but I wasn't in a mood last month because I have so many vlog footages that I have to edit so I you know what, I'm just going to wait, which is why it took me a while to finally film this video. And I know it probably will take me a very, very, very long time to film this video. If I talk about each book very in-depth, probably gonna be very boring for you guys. So I'm going to try my best to go through this a bit faster, but also talk about it a little bit, you know. So yeah, let's just get into this. I don't even know where I should start. You know what, I'm just going to pull this book randomly. First of all, this one, The Maidens by Alex Michaelides. I always don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm so sorry, but this is a murder mystery thriller. Alex is famous for his book called The Silent Patient, which a lot of people seem to love. I personally haven't read them. I talked about this book before i think i read this around halloween last year which i know it's been a while but i haven't talked about this book specifically in a book haul which is why i want to include this still in this video so i hope that's okay with you yeah i quite like this it wasn't a five star for me i think i gave this book around four to four point five stars i like this but it wasn't really my favorite mainly because of the ending if i have to forget about the kind of abrupt feeling that I get in the last 50 pages or so of this book, I probably will give this book a higher score. So this book is actually a little bit of a dark academia kind of book about a murder case that happened in Cambridge University. A lot of twists and turns which I really like, it's just the end specifically, I'm not so sure about. But other than that, I really like it and i now really interested to read The Silent Patient because I've heard a lot of people actually like that book more than this one. That book is also kind of mentioned a little bit in this book. This book is actually supposed to happen before The Silent Patient even though this book is out after The Silent Patient. Oh, and this book is actually the first book that I pre-ordered, you know, like long before the book released, mainly because of the cover, like the design of it is really cool. Next is Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahorin, which is the third and final installment in the Serpent and Dove series. It's getting thicker and thicker, I feel like. By the way, if you don't know what this series is about, it's basically about a witch and a witch hunter who fall in love, found themselves intertwined in this marriage, and the witch hunter didn't exactly know that he married a witch, and then things got really, really complicated from there. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this series in general. A lot of people really, really like Serpent and Dove, but it kind of went downhill from there. A lot of people didn't like Blood and Honey that much and now I haven't really heard much about this book. I personally really like Blood and Honey maybe a little bit more than Serpent and Dove actually. I feel like the writing was a little bit better. The world, the story, the characters got a little bit more complex. Felt more like fantasy books with a little bit of romance which is the complete opposite of Serpent and Dove I feel like. is more like romance book set in a fantasy world. I'm still really really excited to get 
into this one and finally finish the series and i actually really like the cover i like the silver and the gold the first one is still my favorite though so the next three book is part of the same series well actually two of them are part of the same series and then the other one is like spin-off or continuation of this whole world so this is the truly devious series by Maureen Johnson. The first one, Truly Devious, this is the third one, The Hand on the Wall. The second one was included in my previous book haul, which I'm going to link that video down below or up here if you want to see that. So I bought this series all at the same time. I ordered the second one from my local bookstore, but this one I bought from Book Depository and like I said, it arrived very, very late. So this series is a young adult murder mystery about Stevie Bell who are very very interested in becoming a detective and then she got into this Ellingham Academy school, kind of like a boarding school up in Vermont, founded by an early 20th century tycoon for the best and brightest students around. But one day, not long after the school was built, Ellingham's wife and daughter were kidnapped but the case was unsolved for many many years. Now. In the present time, there's Stevie Bell. Not long after she arrived in his school, the suspect, who called himself as truly devious, makes a surprise return. So Stevie Bell is trying to solve the case that is currently going on, also the past case, and try to find out the link between the two cases and hopefully that will help her to solve both cases. I personally really love young adult murder mystery thriller books. I also really like the cover. I'm such a sucker for great interesting unique covers. I think this series is quite similar to, to that good girl bad black series in a sense it's about a girl in high school who are trying to solve a murder case but also quite different in terms of the setup or like the structure i don't know how to call it but that good girl series the main character is trying to solve different cases in each book but in this one i think the first three book going to be about the same case so it's a continuous series i think correct me if i'm wrong yeah. and i actually currently in the middle of this book i'm like halfway through i'm on page 212 and also another book in this universe well you can kind of technically call this the fourth one but i believe we get into another case but this is still about stevie bell this time i think she's finally out of high school she's back at home for a normal boring summer but then she gets a message from the owner of sunny pines formerly known as camp wonderfalls the site of the notorious unsolved box in the woods murder case back in 1978 the new owner offers stevie an invitation come to the camp and help him solve the case but something evil still lurks in barlow corners when stevie and her friends from ellingham open the lid on this long dormant case they get much more than they bargained for this time stevie may not make it out alive wow this sounds probably maybe even creepier which makes me super excited not only because it's also about Stevie Bell but some of her friends in that book will also make an appearance next is a book from an author that I really 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 want to get into in 2022 It Ends With Us by Colin Hoover she's like the main writer to go to if you like romance books so as a romance books lover myself I feel like it's time for me to get into Colin Hoover's books this will be my first one I'm actually currently reading it i'm on page 88 so far i really like it i know it will be very sad and there will be a crazy twist and i think this is not exactly a romantic book but more like books about relationships quite heartbreaking and sad which is usually what i like and yeah hopefully i like it because i already ordered some of her other books hopefully i like her writing the next two book is part of the same series which is one of us is lying and one of us is next by karen m mcmanus this is the uk paperback edition by the way i really like it i think the cover is very very cool like simple but striking at the same time i like the metallic font and the spray edges very bold colors as well this series is another young adult murder mystery thriller book and they are actually way more similar to pretty little liars in my opinion it gave me a similar feeling it's set in high school cyber bully involved in this story just like a pretty little liars there's also friendship and romance involved and i have read 
both of these i really like them i also have watched the tv series for one of us is lying which i also really like i personally like the first book way more than, than the second one i cannot wait for the third book for this series i hope it will be as great as the first two next is another series this is actually a duology i think first book we hunt the flame the second one we free the stars by hafsha faisal as you can see they are different size, different finish of the cover as well. I don't know what happens with it. I remembered I specifically tried to order the same like series or you know US paperback. I expected to have the same size and I mean this is like super matte and this one is kind of glossy. I don't know why they're like completely different size. This one is massive as you can see. I don't know what happens here. I personally hate when books change sizes in the middle of a series and this is only a duology i mean come on i don't know if it's if there's a mistake i think they just sent me the wrong edition or something like that i don't know but yeah at least i have them here now so i can also binge them i cannot wait i've heard a lot of great things about this series especially after the second book comes out towards the end of 2021 or maybe early 2022 this book has gained some significant traction don't know exactly what this book is all about but it's a fantasy series it's about zafira a hunter disguising herself as a man sounds interesting so kind of like mulan vibe maybe a girl trying to disguise herself as a man because they live in a time when you cannot really do much when you're a woman so i think it's very interesting i cannot wait next we have piranesi by susanna clark she is the author of jonathan strange and mr norrell and mr norrell which i've heard so many incredible things i personally haven't read that book i also heard a lot of incredible things about this and this is like one of those books that you don't really want to know much about getting into it and there's also not much plot in it i personally buy this again because of the cover it looks so cool it gave me like greek mythology vibe i think this is about someone who are stuck in this house full of hallways or something like that with a lot of statues maybe I personally don't know but yeah not only the cover itself is incredible the inside is also beautiful but the inside cover is amazing so you have Pira Nessie I personally think this is one of the coolest inside cover book I have the next two book books by emily henry people with me on vacation and beach read i have read these two books and i really really love them these two were actually one of my top favorite read in 2021 especially beach read i have a video for it i'm going to link that down below as well in case you are interested i feel like at this time i don't have to tell you what it is i think you all know by this point if you love romance books emily henry also just released another book called book readers or something like that book, book lovers i pre-ordered the book but they haven't arrived yet so i don't have that book here with me yet but i'm super excited to read that one because i've heard it's also amazing oh and i also really like the fact that these two books and obviously book lovers have something to do with book but yeah totally recommend these two books especially beach read one of my favorite romance book that i've read in 2021 next is another book that i have read it's instructions for dancing by nikola yoon nikola yoon is the author of the sun is also star if i'm not mistaken and everything everything i have read the sun is also star personally not really my favorite i think i gave it like four stars still a really good book but not really my favorite because it was very very insta love and the story took place in 24 hours which i'm not really a huge fan of insta love unless it's done really really well in like a specific way so i didn't really expect much from this book but turns out i really really like it way more than the sun is also a star because it's actually a tragic love story with a little bit of magic involved which is a little bit strange but at the same time very interesting and this book involves 
someone who very much living like say yes to everything live in the moment and the other person doesn't really believe in love anymore because of something that happened in her life previously in her parents marriage but they found a common ground because of dancing they try to get into this ballroom dancing competition but also there's a lot of really sad moments in this and i like sad books so i personally really like it i personally really like nicola yun's writing the chapters in her books are usually very very short very easy to go through you just want to keep reading it but also she managed to capture so much with very little words also has a lot of substance in it she always includes some chapter here and there about very important topics quite educational and eye-opening and i really like that next is book by sally rooney called beautiful world where are you this is sally rooney's latest books her other books are very very famous normal people and conversation with friends i personally haven't read both of those books but i've heard amazing things taylor swift one of my favorite artists of all time she's a massive fan of sally rooney's writing so that make me intrigued even more don't know what this book is about but i think from what i've heard just like any other sally rooney's book there's not much plot in it but more character driven story and a lot of people like Sally Rooney's books mainly because of the writing style her writing is very very quotable and just amazing in general and she's like another author that I really really want to get into this year beside Colin Hoover so I'm very intrigued to get into this one I also really like the cover by the way I don't know it's kind of retro and I really like it. Next is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. This is the third book in the series that I mentioned before that I don't remember the name of. And now I can see it's called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Not Good Girl, Bad Blood. That's the second book of the series. But yeah, the first book, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. The second book, Good Girl, Bad Blood. And this is the third one. I don't know if it's going to be the final one. I personally haven't read the first two books in the series, but... I bought this nonetheless because because it was available in my local bookstore and I really really want to read this series but they didn't have the first two when I bought this so I decided to just buy this first and order the other two online so that's what I did. I'm not even going to read the back of it because I'm scared it's going to spoil <laughs> the other two but this is a series about someone who tried to solve a murder case that happened i don't know if it's in her school or in her neighborhood or something like that but this series unlike the truly devious each book is about a different case i think i don't know if there's any correlation between each of them besides the main character very very intrigued especially because i think this is also set up like a podcast or something like that which is quite unique next is the secret history by donna tart if you love dark academia you probably have heard of this this is like the main like the og book to get into if you like dark academia and this is the uk paperback version by the way which is why it has this very simple black cover the us edition have that very famous iconic cover but yeah i don't know what this book is about besides the fact that it's a dark academia and a lot of people have read adored and loved this book i feel like i'm being a fraud if i say i love dark academia and haven't read this one i guess it's obviously going to have something to do with a secret history maybe secret society who knows defy the night by bridget Cameron or i don't know how to pronounce her name so sorry but yeah this is defy the night i don't even know if it's going to be a series or a standalone fantasy book don't know anything about this but if i'm not mistaken bridget also wrote this series which is a retelling of beauty and the beast if i'm not mistaken i've heard a lot of incredible things about the first book in the series and then a lot of people said that series kind of went downhill afterwards i originally wanted to buy this series but decided to wait but when i saw this again i love the cover and also some people say this book is better than that series which is exciting i don't even know what this book is about if I like this book i might get into that series next next is a darker shade of magic by fee schwab which is the first book in a darker shade of magic trilogy this is the uk paperbacks i originally wanted to collect the special edition hardcover i know they are a lot more expensive and this one was available and on sale in my local bookstore for like 50 percent off or something like that so 
I decided to buy this. I don't know if I'm going to buy the next two in this edition because I still really want to buy that hardcover set. I've heard a lot of incredible things about V.E. Schwab in general. I personally haven't read anything by her so this is going to be my first one. I think I will like her books because I just love her vibe. I follow her on Instagram and the series also sounds interesting. So it's about three, potentially four different magic universe i mean come on i've heard a lot of great things about this series in general so yeah cannot wait to get into it next is hamnet by maggie o'farrell a winner of women's prize for fiction in 2020 i think this is about wait i forgot what this is about <laughs> Hamlet is a novel inspired by the son of a famous playwright, a boy whose life has been all but forgotten, but whose name was given to one of the most celebrated plays ever written. I personally don't know what they're talking about, I haven't watched any plays, I don't know what plays they were talking about, but I've heard incredible things about this book. If you love this kind of story of course i personally am open to different kinds of book different genres yeah i think this is going to be a little bit different for me maybe a little bit serious i don't know but i was excited to try new things and hopefully i will like this book next is the final girl support group by grady hendrix i read this during halloween or maybe even in november in 2021 again but this because of the cover i thought it was very very creepy but also interesting i personally don't know what i think about this book still conflicted i give this around four four point two stars quite like it but there's a lot of aspects in this book that i really don't like specifically the main character is very very annoying i don't like her at all and it's quite triggering especially if you're struggling with anxiety pdsd or something like that it makes me very very uncomfortable comfortable at times reading through her point of view so this is about support group for the final girl it's very very secretive but then one day someone kind of outed them now someone is trying to hunt all of this final girl there's a lot of crazy twist and turn happening in the book it's quite graphic can be very creepy at times all of those things didn't bother me but the main character did just i don't know why <laughs> Next is a book from a series that's been quite on top of my TBR list for quite some time now. It's The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the first book in the series. I think this is supposed to be a trilogy. The second one already out a couple months ago. I already ordered them, haven't arrived yet. And the third one will be out in a couple of months. Another book that I was interested to buy because of the cover. I really really like this cover. Like it looks so cool and it gave me such pirate vibes. I don't know why. Not only the cover is amazing, I also heard a lot of incredible things about this book. This is about someone who out of the blue get an inheritance from a very 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 rich person who just passed away, who also have a lot of family members for some reason. He left all of his inheritance to this one person they don't know each other so they're trying to find out why there's a lot of mystery going on there so maybe i will read the first two right before the third one comes out because i've heard in the second book specifically or maybe in this one it left in a bit of a cliffhanger so i don't have to wait too long next ace of spades by farida abike i'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because i know i will butcher it so yeah it's this is one of my most anticipated book from 2021 so as soon as this arrived i immediately get into this book again i bought this mainly because of the cover very very cool in my opinion but also because this is supposed to give you a gossip girl vibe and i have to say that statement is very much correct i really really like it it's very high on my ranking for 2021 definitely in my top 15 it's just i don't really know what i feel about the ending specifically because this book felt like one thing and then it quickly turned into another thing i guess it's just a little bit jarring and completely caught me off guard but other than that this book is 
pretty freaking fantastic it's creepy crazy entertaining it's fun but it's also very very eye-opening the ending is very very crazy and quite unbelievable but at the same time if this happened in real life i could totally see it happen which is really sad yet another book i bought because of the cover <laughs> grown by tiffany d jackson i just love this cover it's strikingly beautiful it came out quite a while ago maybe in 2019 around 2020 i've heard some of my favorite booktuber talk about this rave about this i think it's also quite sad but also make sure to check out the trigger warning because i think there's some quite triggering things happen in this book but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to read the synopsis for you guys because i personally kind of forget what the book is about cory fields is dead when enchanted jones wakes with blood on her hands what what? I personally don't remember this book have something to do with murder. Hmm, actually makes me more excited to read this. But yeah, Enchanted Jones. She has zero memory of the previous night. No one, the police and Corey's fans included, has more questions than she does. All she really knows is that this isn't how things are supposed to be. Corey was Enchanted's ticket to stardom. Oh yeah, I remember that this book have something to do with the music industry, Hollywood or something like that, and the craziness of this world behind the scene. Before there was a dead body, Enchanted was an aspiring singer struggling with her tight-knit family's recent move to the suburbs while trying to find her place as one of the few black girls in high school. But then legendary R&B artist Corey Fields spots her at an audition and suddenly her dream of being a professional singer takes flight but soon her dream turns into a nightmare behind Corey's charm and star power lurks a dark side one that wants to control her every move with rage and consequences except now he's dead and the police are at the door who killed Corey fields all signs point to enchanted if that doesn't intrigue you i don't know what is next two is part of a series a middle grade one Wondersmith and Hollowpox by Jessica Townsend. This is part of the Nevermore series. This is the second one. This is the third one. The fourth one will come out in a couple of months, I believe, or maybe early next year. Don't remember. If I'm not mistaken, I I think I include the first book in my previous book haul. I bought the paperback UK edition for that one because I could not find the hardcover anywhere which is kind of sad because I really want to collect this in hardcover UK edition. Not only the sleeve is amazing but also the inside of it is amazing. Like look at that. I mean Personally, I always really really like UK hardcover because they tend to have something more interesting going on inside the dust jacket compared to the US hardcover edition. For UK paperbacks though, I usually like the US paperbacks more because they tend to be more floppy and the paper usually is a bit better. But the UK paperbacks all have the same size so if you stack them up in your bookshelf, it will always line up perfectly. Their height always the same. But anyway, haven't read the first one yet, but I've heard incredible things about this series in general. A lot of people said this has similar feeling to Harry Potter series. Magical, amazing, heartwarming, wholesome, and everything. So yeah, I cannot wait to get into this series and see what's going on. So next, I think this one. This is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. The only book from her that I've read so far is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was one of my absolute favorite book. I gave it five stars. That book is amazing and I just adored her writing. She just quickly become one of my favorite author. I just want to get into more of her catalog and read every single book she's ever written. I also heard incredible things about all her other books, especially Daisy Jones and the Six. This is about a band in Hollywood called Daisy Jones and the Six, I believe or maybe just the six. Again, about Hollywood kind of giving me Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo vibe, but the difference is this book is written in an interview format, which is very, very interesting. Like, I never read anything with this kind of format. Some people even 
like this book more than seven husbands of evelyn hugo i also heard incredible things about the audiobook for this one so i think i will read this book first and then get into the audiobook it's also part of reese witherspoon's book club books that are part of her book club is usually pretty amazing and i tend to love them and by the way is it just me or does she remind you of dakota johnson because i think she does back when dakota still have her tooth gap oh yeah this also will be adapted into movies soon or maybe a series i don't remember but Suki Waterhouse is in it and I personally cannot wait to watch that so hopefully I will be able to finish this before that movie or the TV series comes out. Next is Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Sujimura. First of all, the cover itself just looks magical and I also heard a lot of really wholesome things said about this book. It's also the prize winning Japanese number one bestseller. I don't really remember what this book is about but I think it's about a magical world. You get into a mirror or something and get into this magical world. Kind of like Narnia vibe maybe or maybe I'm way off. <laughs> Next is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I've read this book. I don't know if it was 5 star or not but I'm pretty sure this made it into my top 10 favorite book of 2021. It's a sapphic romance but there's also a little bit of sci-fi going on involved in this book. The romance itself is actually not my favorite thing about this book but the found family aspect, the friendship in this book, all the side characters actually steal the spotlight. I love every single character. I love seeing their dynamic, their relationship, the banter, the story is quite unique, it's entertaining, there's a wide range of characters, very very inclusive. So in terms of romance book, this isn't my favorite but as a book in general, this is really really good. So I mentioned earlier, I bought a lot of books from Book Depository. They arrived very very late. I thought all of them was lost in shipping. Books in general from them tend to take at least a month to arrive but for some reason after two or three months, they they still haven't arrived so I was very very worried. I contacted book depositories team, asked them is there any way for me to track the packages. I just want to know where they are, if they're lost or not but because it's free shipping they said they cannot do anything about that. There's no way for me to track all the packages so they actually offered me a solution. They will send replacement for all my late orders and I actually said no like is there any way other than replacing them or something but they kept saying no it's okay we're just going to send you a replacement. I was actually worried. I'm afraid that they will also get lost because it was around late 2021. In my country we got into another like lockdown-ish situation. You know another wave of COVID back then but once lockdown was lifted all of my packages arrived. <laughs> Turns out the problem was with my local post office. Packages are all stuck in there but within the same week every single one of my packages arrived. I was shocked but also I felt very very bad because now I have a lot of repeats or not repeat but there are a lot of books that I have two of. The original one, the replacement. First of all, if there's anyone from Book Depository who happened to watch this video, I just want to say thank you so much. You've been very very helpful. You answered my emails within a day and their customer service was very amazing, responsive, quick to action. They send a replacement within a week. I'm very satisfied. I just want to say thank you and also sorry because it's not your fault at all but you still send me replacement anyway and now I have a lot of duplicates which I'm going to show you and the first one is this one right here. This is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I have two and for some reason they are both have the same ISBN but they are also different like this one and this one isn't like that and it's like matte. This one is not. This is really weird. I don't know what's going on with this but now I have an option but Anyway, this book has been on my TBR for quite some time now. A lot of people who have read this book said incredible things about this. This is pretty sad but also like wholesome kind of sad. A lot of people gave this 5 stars. Cover is intriguing, the story is intriguing. I also really want to read the other books from TJ Klune. I think called 
under the whispering doors or something like that tj clune also just revealed another upcoming book which also looks very very intriguing next is a fantasy trilogy by holy black this one wait this one right here the cruel prince the wicked king and the queen of nothing i ordered two of them from book depository so now i have five i have two of the queen of nothing and two of the wicked king so i don't know what to do with all of these extra books i feel really really bad but anyway this series is one of the top fantasy series that people recommend especially if you are new to fantasy series even if you don't like fantasy people tend to love this book which sounds promising and i think there's also romance involved in this i think this is about a fae or something like that if i'm not mistaken the, oh this is called the fog of the air series by the way Yet another book from Taylor Jenkins Reid, Malibu Rising. This came out last summer, if I'm not mistaken. I have the UK cover, by the way. A lot of people seem to love the US cover a lot more. But I personally really like this cover. I don't know why. I, I like the color combination. I know it's very Instagram-ish, very colorful and pop. But yeah, this story, again, has something to do with Hollywood. This is about the children of Mick Reba, which is one of the husband from the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which is very, very interesting because Mick Reba is Mick Reba. <laughs> if you read that book, you'll know what I mean. But yeah, he's a rock star, and this story is about his kids. This happened in a day, I think. They are going to have a party, so this happens before and during the party itself. And again, the way the book set up is very, very unique and interesting and different. Oh, wait! <laughs> Turns out, Nevermore. I haven't talked about this in my previous book haul because it's going to be part of this one. So, yeah. See, this is the paperback version. I still like the cover, but it's obviously nothing special inside or something it still have this really beautiful illustration but other than that still mad about this because i really want to have a full set in the same hardcover but yeah if you know where to get them please let me know the next three is yet another middle grade series this is the pages and co series first one pages and co tilly and the book wanderers the second one pages and co Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales and the third one Pages and Co Tilly and the Map of Stories. I think this will be a very long series. I actually have read the first one. I'm going to read the second book next. But yeah, this book is about Tilly Pages who live above her grandparents' bookshop called Pages and Co. Her mother disappeared and one day Tilly's favorite book characters appear in a shop like everyone comes to life. She also finds out that she's able to get in and out of her favorite books, experience the story, and there's a lot of magical thing happen, but there's also some mysterious thing happen. Yeah, it's very fun, very middle grade by the way. It reads a little, a little bit younger than Harry Potter, but I'm intrigued to see the next book. I think we will get more into the magic system and everything. So far, it's pretty solid introduction to the series. Nothing extraordinary so far, but hopefully the next book in the series will be even better. Okay. So so I just had a dinner break, so I'm so sorry if the angle is a little bit different, but we still have a couple of books left, so <sighs> okay, let's go. The next two book, this one right here, it's very very heavy. It's the Harry Potter illustrated version by Jim Kay. I have a very difficult relationship with Harry Potter books. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are because of the author but I'm a huge Potter heads. I'm a massive fan of Harry Potter because of the movies. I didn't have an attachment to the book and to the author like other book reader who fall in love with reading because of Harry Potter. So my relationship with it, it's a little bit different. Like I admire her writing but I've never been a fan of her as a person. I feel like that's why I have a little bit like easier time to disconnect Harry Potter and the author. But I personally don't want to buy any Harry Potter books if it's the regular version, you know. I always want to collect Harry Potter the anniversary edition, you know, the one that has the Hogwarts house cover. But I don't feel comfortable buying that but i feel a little bit a little bit okay with buying this version because it's not just her that create this book 
book. So first of all, I have the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in this Jim K illustrated version. Four years and years since it first came out I believe but I haven't been able to read them because every time I want to get into Harry Potter I just watch the movie. It's just been there in my bookshelf collecting dust but last year I get into a bit of a reading slump and I decided you know what I really want to read Harry Potter so why not just read the illustrated version instead. So I fell in love with Jim K's illustration. It's such an exciting experience. It feels like you're experiencing the world all over again for the first time because everything looks different. He follows the book description instead of the movie so every single character looks different. We have Harry with green eyes. The world is slightly different so everything feels very new and fresh and exciting. I fell in love all over again so I decided I want to collect this version and I feel a little bit better buying it because the money that I put into this book isn't going straightly to just the author but also to Jim K himself. I don't know, I was a graphic designer so I want to support fellow artists. If I want to buy Harry Potter books, I will only allow myself to buy the illustrated version by Jim K or the Minaluma edition but I know that's not for everyone. Everyone will feel differently about this but yeah, there's that. I have the second one. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I have read this a couple months ago. I have the hardcover which is very heavy. Reading them is a little bit tedious, like I have to read them in a desk. But I really like the material that they use here love them and i also bought the harry potter and the goblet of fire which is the fourth book in the series which from what i've heard the illustration is really really good like even better in this one but i don't have the third one i've looked through everywhere they are very very expensive it's a little bit rare compared to these two maybe which is why they are expensive but for these two i bought them also because they were on sale almost 50% off and this one was 20 to 25% off but I will wait until the third one comes on sale and also the fifth one will comes out in a couple of months super excited but they are even more expensive I mean of course because the fifth book is the thickest one next is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo I mentioned this in my previous book haul I really want to read the whole Shadow and Bone Christopher's I bought all three books from the Shadow and Bow trilogy. I also bought Six of Crows, a duology with this one. This is the second one. I also bought the Collector's Edition, just the same as this one. Six of Crow have red spread edges, but this one is black. I really like this edition so much, not only because the cover is amazing, full of metallic foiling, spread edges. Also have some very special illustrations in the back, as you can see and the illustrations in six of crows and this one are also different i wanted to get into the grisha first last year but i wasn't able to i don't even know if i'm going to be able to finish this series this year because i have a lot of other books that kind of push this series aside but who knows maybe i'll wait until we have the date for the second season of the netflix series still within the grisha first the next one is the King of Scars duology. This is King of Scars by Libar Lugo. I personally haven't heard a lot of great things about this one, which I'm kind of nervous about, but still super excited. Obviously, I don't know what it's about, but gorgeous, gorgeous cover, by the way. Very, very shiny. And I also really like the inside cover. Look at that. It's one of the best cover I've seen. I also bought the second book from this duology rule of wolves isn't very shiny this is like more of a matte finish but also quite metallic which i really like i think i like this one more than king of scars and also under the dash jacket is also amazing i mean i like this cover way more look at that Ugh, what? and from what i've heard rule of wolves is actually way better than king of scars and also i actually have two of these this is one of the book that was replaced by book depository team so now i have two for this one i also feel bad but i'm also very thankful because the original package probably has been sitting there in my post office warehouse for months and months and months and it arrived kind of damaged as you can see it's a little bit slanted i don't know the binding it's a little bit loose 
in here so it's a little bit worrisome but thankfully the replacement that i got arrived in very very good condition they are very sturdy so i'm glad i got a replacement for this one another book from lee bardugo ninth house I'm actually more excited for this one than the whole grisha first mainly because of the cover it's also a dark academia book and this is the first book in the series we already have a title and a cover review like a couple weeks ago or something so i think i'm going to wait to read this close to the release of the second one i think the cover is way creepier than this one I also have two of these because i bought this with rule of wolves so now I have two. Comes in perfect condition, both of them. And I feel very very bad particularly for this one because I bought this when it was very very expensive. $30 or something like that which is crazy. So I feel really bad because now I have $60 worth of book for just this, this one. The next one, I actually already shown you this in one of my previous vlogs. This is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller but this is the... wait what? What edition is this? I think this is the limited anniversary edition or something like that. Hardcover and just amazing. The paper that they use here is very top-notch, great quality in my opinion. They are thicker. We have a bookend or whatever this ribbon thing called. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is the special edition. And in my previous book haul, I actually already bought this book. I bought this edition right here. I think this is also a special edition, the Bloomsbury Modern Classics edition. And now I have to, I haven't even read this book, really want to, but kind of preparing myself. I feel like I have to be in the right mood. This book is supposed to be very, very sad, but super excited because this is a Greek mythology about Achilles and Patroclus' love story from Patroclus' perspective. I actually don't know if I want to keep both or if I want to get rid of this one maybe, or maybe I should keep both of them and read this one so this will be in a perfect condition or something. Okay, we finally get to the last one. This is Six Creams and Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. She's the author of the Spin Dawn duology which I haven't read but I've heard some really good things about it. But this one I actually again bought them because of the cover. This is the US paperback version and I also really like the cover for the UK edition so much so that I actually bought the UK hardcover version. So now I have to don't know which one I want to keep. Honestly, I originally only want to buy one, this UK version right here, but it wasn't available in my local bookstore. It was a little bit hard to get at that time. This version was sold out in book depository as well. So when I found this in my local bookstore, I just, you know what, I'm going to buy this because I also like this cover. But a couple weeks later, they have this in stock in my local bookstore. So now I don't know which one I want to keep. I was thinking of keeping this one, but they just refilled the cover for the second book from this series and I actually really like the cover for the US version a lot more. So now I'm conflicted and I don't even know what the book is about honestly. It's about a princess in exile, a ship shifting dragon, six enchanted cranes, and an unspeakable curse. It will take more than magic to find their way home. There's not much else I know about this book but yeah I personally have high hopes for this. Book. So that's it. That's my massive book haul. This is like a crazy amount of book. I don't even know how I can read all of this. <laughs> I'm not a fast reader, but buying books and reading books is two completely different hobby. I mean, if you know, you know. The crazy thing is, I already plan on doing another book haul in a couple of weeks. I already bought some books and there will be quite a lot of books in that video as well. I'm just waiting on some books to arrive first, but I've been on a book buying ban for quite some time now, which I'm pretty proud of myself. But yeah, let me know. What was the last book you bought and is there any particular books that you really, really want to buy? Please share in the comment section down below. And lastly, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to. And I hope I can see you in another video. Bye guys.